Hello and welcome back to the Halloween special part two. I'm not looking, I should be looking here, not directly ahead, otherwise my eyes are to the side. Welcome back. It is now part two of the Halloween special and this time I have a makeup artist, Crystal. Hi. My sister. Hey girl. Hey, hey kitty girl. So after we have um, did part one, which was actually a couple of days ago, I have today freshly shaved and awesome. moisturized and we are ready for part two of this makeup tutorial. So we're going to get a lot of talk from Crystal. She's going to be telling us exactly what product she's using, who they buy, and I'll be asking her questions and we will just talk through everything that we're going to do with you guys. So my head is going to be slightly to this side for crystal to be doing the makeup for me and um yeah i think we should just crack on <coughs> ready to go ready to go so first of all i'm just going to give Dawes face a bit of a mist with this makeup revolution fixing spray mm. it smells really nice but i'll just give your face like a nice moisturized start to begin with make the um, foundation a bit easier to blend it out in your face okay so let's go there you go. Oh, that smells really nice. It's green tea smell. Mm. It's annoying we can't get this in Australia anymore because um, they've changed their shipping wars. We can't, uh, anything at all, it's a spray we can't get. That's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, because that's actually really nice. So we're going to prime Dawes face with a couple of primers today. Ooh, prime. I like the prime. Yeah, we are going to go for an Instagram look. We yeah. go in for heavy... Contour. Contoured, really RuPaul, sachet, you stay girl kind of look. So we're going to use, the first primer is a L'Oreal primer. It's an infallible primer and this is an illuminating primer so it'll give your skin a really nice glow. We need to illuminate like the surface of the sun girl. You'll look like the Tin Man when you first get this on. Mm. Don't freak out, but okay. by the time the foundation goes on the top, it does settle down. I've seen on some of the RuPaul um, episodes, some of them, they actually, you know, they, they, it's like purple in colour. Yeah. Um, but it actually sort of like, once it's all done and made up yeah. and everything, it's really good. It just makes your skin look glowier. And as we get older, our skin does get dry. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just tends to look more youthful, glowy skin. So, so the one thing I have noticed, because I shaved and I don't yeah. shave very often, is I yep. noticed that my skin was quite dry. Yeah. So, make sure you're putting some nice, good moisturizers on, and it's really important that we also exfoliate mm -hmm. because we're getting rid of that dry skin on top of our face, and then. We can get the moisturiser can absorb better into your skin. I'd need to exfoliate with a <laughs> sandblaster. You can actually get something done called microdermabrasion. It's yes. like a little, I've had it, microdermabrasion, it's amazing. Mm. It's like a little vacuum. It doesn't hurt at all. Yeah. But it actually like sucks all the dry skin off your face. It's mm. amazing. So then we're going to pop on for door. The Benefit Professional, this is quite a, a cult product okay. in the makeup world. What it does is it'll blur your pores. So it fills them in. This feels totally different to the other Oof, primer. you're going to need a cement mixer full of that stuff, girl. <laughs> so for this, we don't rub. We just pat it. Because you think of like an orange. If you rub like yes. um, something just roughly over an orange, you can see the pores. So mm -hmm. we've got to sort of push them in. So, so this is like a, a surface pore filler yeah. making the skin nice and smooth. Yeah. So anywhere that we have pores, most people have texture and pores across here. You'll probably see in a lot of unedited Instagram photos, girls, that skin looks rough. Ouch. Across there. Um, it's just we have lots of pores on our face. Pores are natural. It's just one of those things. We do our best to, to cover them and fill them. But, um, yeah. You can't change the size of your pores. No, they're but not you doors. can fill them in. Yep, they're not doors. They don't open and close. <laughs> no, but I have had, a, I have lived in flats which are smaller than my yeah. pores, <laughs> especially on my nose. Everyone has pores on their nose, unfortunately. Get little blackheads a lot on nose. Too. Yeah, when I was younger, my mother was, my mother was sort of like obsessed with popping them all the time. Yeah. It can be quite addictive popping. Mm. <laughs> you can open your eyes now while we get the foundation. Look at that. Ready? Shine, sachet, you stay. So we're going to use our little mixing <coughs> pad and we'll turn it over. 
and we're going to use today my favorite foundation which is the sheer glow this mm -hmm. is an older foundation but it's quite buildable it's not fully matte it's got a yeah. little bit of glow it gives your skin a bit more of that skin look but you mm. can build it up to be quite high coverage i'm gonna need foundation i'm gonna need it as deep as building a house on sand <laughs> I'm going to need pile drives and a lot of concrete with reinforcement wire. And so we're going to make door extra glowy today. So we're going to add into that a little bit of the Revolution um, liquid glow drops. These are a dupe for the cover FX one and a hell of a lot cheaper. Mm. <laughs> so they're actually really shiny and metallic, oh, yeah. but we don't need a heap. So we just pop a couple of drops in that and then we can mix it in. People use spatulas or that to mix it. I find it quite easy just to use the end of a brush and then just wipe it off. But I like that thing with the um, the thumb on it, the thumb holder. It's like yeah. a it's like um, an artist, an artist palette. Because yeah. a lot of makeup artists do mix things. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. So, um, like John McLean, for example, he always mixes the the white. Yep. With a with another foundation. Yeah, I do that to too, make yeah. it really really white because of his skin tone. It's really hard to find foundation okay, that's here white we go. enough. It's foundation time. So with foundation, we're using a blender like Dor used in the last video. But what's really important is when we use this that we're pushing it in. We're pushing it in, so we're pushing it into your pores, and we're making the skin look more airbrushed. Um, if you swipe it across, you just tend to move it around. So if we just pat it in, that's why they call it beating your face. Mm -hmm. I need my face beating. So we just pop it on. Dorian's actually got really nice skin. He doesn't need a lot of coverage. Um, his skin's quite good. He's mm -hmm. not... Um, mm -hmm doesn't have a lot of lines or a lot of um, texture. It's quite good. That's always promising to know if I ever start a career as a drag queen. And because Dawes got short hair, we foundation his ears too because we want to look even. Oh God, yes. And he's going to wash this off later anyway. Yeah. And we make sure we pat it down our neck. I've also popped a bit of setting spray on the sponge because I find that that helps blend it a little bit further and I try to avoid the eye area as much as I can all right okay because we don't want to have heaps and heaps of layers around our eyes because mm. it makes you look um you know like dry and patchy and chunky like you've got a cakey mm -hmm. layer a little bit doesn't matter but yeah we're gonna pop um concealer in that so when did beauty blenders come into existence because um, I've noticed like other people using kind of like they used to use like those brushes, wedges of sponge. Yeah. They're quite, a lot of artists still do use those wedges because they are disposable. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, you can wash these. Yeah. Um, a lot of professional ma artists use brushes because um, they're easy to clean. But um, these are really good because they get an airbrushed um, finish. Yeah. But they do soak up a lot of product. Yeah. I mean, is that why? Because you have to, like, wet them a bit yeah. to stop absorbing so much? You wet them as it makes it a bit easier to blend. They're not so great when they're dry. But because um, they're wet, they absorb things. But they are new sponges that don't absorb things as much. But okay. I haven't tried one of them. I find all of... Um, the Real Beauty Blender, the Real Techniques one, and this one, which is just a cheap Kmart one, are all pretty much the same. All oh, right, okay, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think so, no. Okay. So we're just pushing everything in, especially around our nose and doors being sick, so I'm trying not to belt his nose <laughs> oh, too no, much. Oh, no, I'm all right. It doesn't hurt at all. This is actually quite relaxing. It actually feels like a bit like a massage. <laughs> And I, this is the thing that I spend the most amount of time on. Um, it's really important that you have a good base. Because everything else, like, um, after that, looks terrible if your base isn't done really well. There you go. 
I'm ready for my close-up, Dr. DeVille, Mr. DeVille. Oh, gosh, yeah, that does look very Halloweenish, I have to say. But it's blended beautifully. <coughs> so next we're going to do some cream contouring before we do concealing. Let's get my cream contour palette that I've put around here somewhere. So we're going to use a thicker brush and we're going to use my very dirty Anastasia cream contour palette. Mm. So it's got six colours and you can tell which colours I've used. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, because they're worn down to the bottom. Yeah. This is actually quite strong, so you don't use a lot. Pop that there. So we're going to do your cheekbones. So with your face, your cheekbones are there. Mm -hmm. So we want to go under it. So generally we go from the top of the ear. We don't want to go all the way down, so we just do a little bit and then do the sides of our face and a little bit of the forehead. And then I use a beauty blender and we blend that in before it sets. Mm, yeah, I can see that now. Subtle, but we're going to put um, powder. Um, contouring that over it, mm -hmm. but this just makes a good base for it to um, go on. I guess then the setting powder will sort of like just soften, soften it, it all. Yeah. And... <coughs> It'll um, set it because this is a cream, so um, we use creams and then we set them with powder so they don't shift around. Okay. So then we're going to go under your jawline, Let's give you a chiseled jawline like that. Chiseled, absolutely chiseled, darling. And go down under our chin. We could do a Mary J. Blige and then just do this <laughs> black <laughs> underneath. Oh my to. gosh! <laughs> There's a, there was a, another early video, for a music video. Uh, the song is I did I did it for emotion. Da, 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 for devotion. Anyway, and uh, the the video, the music video is like the it's it's in black. Yeah. Um, and their faces are painted with like uh, neon. Oh, okay. So they got like an ultraviolet light on them. Yeah. And the main singer, she's quite a big girl. Yeah. But if you watch that, it looks like she has this tiny little oriental face. Yeah. Because the only part that she's actually painted is this sort of like fake face shape yeah. onto it. Yeah. That's very good. Contour can be amazing. Boy George used to do it, but it was like <clears throat> way too much contour. Yeah. It was just like black underneath the chin. It, it, it's very Mary J. Blige. Is he still around? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's back doing tours in the UK oh, okay. with, um, with Culture Club. Oh, because last I saw he was like really poor, wasn't he? He went, was, wasn't he really um, I think he did kind of like go a bit off the rails, but yeah. he's he, he's lost loads of weight. He's back to oh, okay. being slim, and he's back back on his game again. Yeah, I think he's just got his life sorted out. Oh, I that's think. good. Yeah, it is because I do like Boy George. Yeah. Um, I watched the sort of like film about his life. Oh yeah. I can't remember the name of the actor that did it. It was very good. It wasn't exactly accurate, he did say, but. It did give a kind of um, depiction of his life. Then we put a bit under here, and that makes your lips look more fuller when we're finished. I think we need a car sponge, never mind a beauty <laughs> blender. Do a little bit of your nose. Oh yeah, we've got to make that nose look... Snatched. Snatched, completely snatched. So do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? No, I've only seen like, little tiny bits. Everyone says I should watch it. Oh, them. you should. It's yeah. really funny. I like... Um, I've seen some of the actual drag queens. They do YouTube channels. Adore De Lago yes. and that. Dude, that, and they're, they're amazing to watch. Like My favourite one is Bianca Del Rio. Okay. I She won one of the... Um, yeah. And then there was another one. He was completely the underdog. 
oh, I can't remember his name. He was sort of like very gothy and all his makeup yeah. was like really gothy. And all the other sort of like contestants were sort of like down on him and yeah. sort of like, oh, you're ridiculous. You And he ended up winning. Say. <laughs> You know, and he and uh, he did kind of like a lot of them. I noticed don't really take the advice of RuPaul or no. the judges. Yeah. Um, and I understand that some of them have a certain look. There's um, an Australian contestant. Yeah. I can't remember his name. I watched one of his videos today. I can't remember his name now. And he sort of like he looks like Britney Spears, and oh, his. Oh really. And his thing was Britney Spears. So it's yeah. like when he was doing his shows, he was Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah. And all the way through the show, he wasn't really doing anything apart from looking sort of like catwalk. Oh, okay. He didn't look drag queeny. He just yeah. looked so pristine and beautiful. Yeah. And he was kind of like, yeah, but we want to see more of a different, drag yeah. queen, something different. Right. Well, it is a, a drag race. It's not a, you know. Exactly. So what's going on now? Ah, uh, concealer. Oh, so we're using the revolution conceal and define. We need a bucket of concealer. I'm gonna pop that under our eyes, and we're gonna mix it with the Kat Von D lockout in white. So, who is Kat Von D then? She's a um, tattoo artist, probably about 10 years ago. There was a show, LA Inc. Oh, yes, she actually is a tattoo artist, um... and then she went to makeup. Her and Jeffree Star are known for their big fallout fight. <laughs> mm. What did happen there in the end? What was the matter? Um, Kat Von D reckoned that um, someone she knew, one of her friends in makeup art, uh, tattoo artist, drew Jeffree Star's uh, design for his palettes, like the star. Oh, yeah. And she said that he never paid the person. Mm. Jeffree Star says that he did, and she was just causing drama and trouble. Because they were friends for ages. She did a lot of different Yeah, they were like tattoos. 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Then all of a sudden that happened and... But did it come out in the end? Did he actually pay the person? Yes, apparently he did. Yeah. Uh... But um, they don't talk anymore, which is really sad because they were friends for ages. It wasn't a... I mean, I only came across um, Jeffree Star. Fenty Eye Primer. Ooh, Fenty. I like that. I've heard... All these names I've heard. Close your eyes. Fenty's Rihanna's brand. Rihanna the singer? Yeah. Mm. I find most of her stuff's quite overrated for that brand, but this is quite good. So when I hear Jeffree Star using, or other people using, yeah. Rihanna, it's actually Rihanna Fenty. the singer? Yep, yep. she's mm. come up with her own makeup line. Well, she's it's Fenty, that's her last name. Ah, I didn't know that. So, um, yeah. Now I will set that with powder. Do we have powder? I look like Data from Star Trek. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't compute. I'm going to grab some powder. I don't think I've got any out here. Time for powder. Let's have a check. Let's do a close-up. Mmm. I suggest nose job. Lots of Botox. Lots of filler. I definitely need Botox. I need a filler and that, that crack in the top of my head. Look at that. Looks like the Grand Bloody Canyon. Yep, definitely we need a bit of filler for that. But yeah, I do look like Data. So we're going to use the Cody S bun, which is another sort of cult thing. This Actually, you and Scott got me this in the US when you went over. Ah, yes. A lot of people don't like the smell of this. It's quite a... Let's have a sniff. It's got quite a... I love the smell yeah, of that. Yeah, well, it's got quite a um, unique smell. Because it's a really old powder. It was like our grandmothers and that used to use it. It's mm. a, so I set um, the face with the sponge as well. Oh, right, okay. So it goes on a bit damper. Oh, that smells so nice. A lot of people hate it. Really? Yep. I guess it's because it's kind of like, I've noticed with all the other stuff you've been putting on, it's not really highly fragranced. No, this is very highly fragranced. But I really do like that. It smells, a lot of people say it smells like old women, like your grandmother. And <laughs> yeah, it does actually. 
it reminds me of when I used to go into my into my parents' room. Yeah. Um, and whenever I'd go past my mum's dressing table, her dressing table smelled like this. She probably used this. <laughs> mm. So that's one. By the way, I never did try any of your own. <coughs> I just used to like the smell. No, no, seriously. You close your eyes. This will, um, we're just using the setting spray again. This will help get rid of the powdery look. So we're not using hairspray? Not like I did when <laughs> I used to be in my 20s and we used to go out. <laughs> A girl actually did that in Geelong and she went and got, remember those when those flaming cocktails were really popular? Yes. And she got her face set on fire. Oh my God. <laughs> she must use a hell of a lot of talcum powder. Jeepers, creepers. So, um, yeah. But we all used to do it. Like... Mm. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back when I thought black eyeliner in my waterline was a good idea. <laughs> Pat it in. See how that sort of softened it a bit? Mm. It's not so powdery now. God, I need derma abrasion. <laughs> So I'd make one ugly drag queen. No, you wouldn't. I'd look okay from the stage, far away, but if you got up close. So are we going to contour? <gasps> contour. And we're going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette to contour. Mm. Um, it's an eyeshadow palette, but I use the top shade there for contouring. Her makeup's actually really good. What was that makeup store we went into in Geelong? Mecca. Mecca. Yeah. No, that was, um, that's a lovely store. Yeah. The girls know me in there. <laughs> they were all really nice. Yeah. They're very good at making people feel welcome, which is important because, you know, a lot of people is like, some of my friends are too scared to even go in a makeup store by themselves. Hmm. Like, set, you know, my friend Sarah, you know, she loves makeup, but she's like, oh, I get so overwhelmed. Yes. Like, so I think it's important they are really nice. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people get a bit overwhelmed by it. The one thing I did notice, I remember when I years ago when I used to work in a department store. Yeah. Um, it was Debenhams. Okay, yeah. And I used to work, when I was in college, at the, uh, at the beginning I used to work at the Springles Cafe restaurant in Debenhams. Yeah. So the staff room was very, very segregated. Yes. You know, you had all the makeup girls that would sit on one table and you had all the retail on one side and then you had accessories and the housewares. They were very, very, very segregated yeah. when it came to tea breaks and lunch. And because we were in the restaurant, we were thought of as the lowest of the low. Mm. I know. But one thing I do remember quite a lot is the women on the makeup counter, mm. they wore way too yeah. much makeup back in the day yeah way too much and i think like when we went into that into mecca and i've noticed in other places is that now they don't seem to be so so looking like drag queens yeah the thing with a lot of instagram like makeup looks and youtube makeup looks is that they might look nice on camera mm. but if you see them in real life you'd be think they look ridiculous mm -hmm. you would um like all the girls in mecca you could see that they had makeup on but they all yeah. look really quite natural and yeah. nice you know what i mean yeah so is mecca is it a is it a chain yes yep that's our like um and it's an australian chain yes it's not like in america they have um. alter and um we have sephora which is okay. in melbourne there's that's none close um, but yeah, Mecca's, Mecca's known for good customer service. Are they yeah. in other countries as well or? New Zealand I think has Mecca, if I'm right. Okay. But um, no, it's just mainly here. So we're going to use one of my secret weapons for Dawn's <gasps> Ooh, skin. I like secret weapons. This is the Too Faced um, face blur powder. Oh, that's a lovely little box. And this smells amazing when you smell it, when it goes on. And it's a little peach. Too Faced is my favourite makeup brand. See how it's got that little mm, peach in it? Yes, um, I like that. 
This will help blur your face. It just makes it look oh, really nice. I need nice. a lot of blurring. A lot. And it's orange, but it comes clear when you put it on. I should have had Botox first for all those lines. <laughs> you can go and get it done. Mm. I really would. There's, yeah. a, there's a place in Grantham. I really yeah. would. I hate these lines on my forehead. Yeah, I've had mine done. <laughs> um, I do it. I don't care what people think. Um, I do it because I don't like lines when I do my makeup. No. I don't reckon it makes your foundation look very nice. Um, mm. Look, if you want to age naturally, good for you. Yeah, exactly. If you want to do something, how does it affect anyone else? It's mm -hmm. your body, your face. Um, yep. Do as you please. People need to learn to stop being so judgmental of mm -hmm. other people and just let them live. <laughs> It's like this video, for example, I, I know I put on the beginning of it, you know, this is not vacuums, this is not gadgets, this is something completely different, just for a bit of a fun, just for yeah. a bit of a laugh, just to spend time with my sister that I don't see that often, I haven't yeah. seen her for three years, it's yeah. just nice for us to do something yeah. that's Did your interest yeah. and, you know. Now we're going to try and do eyebrows. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. I'm going to use the L'Oreal pomade to try. And I'm going to try and use it. my pencils here. Oh, so we're just going to use this. This will be fine. So I'm just going to find a little angled brush. I hope the the main people I want to be watching this is Ben and Chris. If there's any single men out there too. <laughs> Straight for yeah. Crystal. Yeah. We both like penis. So. <laughs> hey, <laughs> mm, girl, that you talking? Um, yeah, if there's any straight, nice men. If you want to send me makeup, that's also appreciated. Link in the description below. <laughs> so we're just going to have a go at Dawes eyebrows. I'm okay, not going to I'm going to try and make your natural shape. Yeah. It is going to be darker because we're going to put that wig on. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, don't get too shocked. Sorry. I'm going to pop some here. And then follow your eyebrow down. And pop some here. And follow your brow down and fill in. And then when we get to the front of the eyebrow, we can flip the brush around and make it go up a little bit. We certainly don't need to fake hairs because my eyebrows are there. Oh, I wish I had your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of girls are killed for these, though, would. Just to be able to shape them. Yeah. Get a, I can use a makeup mascara one. And Those are big ass drag queen mm. eyebrows. And just push them up a bit at the front. We were going to, um, I was thinking about gluing them down, but it's just going to be. He'll look ridiculous. I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I need to practice um, mm -hmm. doing that. And any mistakes with the pomade, we can just wipe off. And do the other brown. Now we've got to try and match them. They are sisters and not twins. See, he knows already. Mm. So I'm probably going to be starting my YouTube channel next year after Christmas. Mm. And I'll get that going. You have so many amazing products and stuff. It'd be yeah. really good to um, to share your opinions on it. I collect makeup, so mm. I get a lot of the limited edition, mm. which in the next couple of months is going to be very busy mm. because all the Christmas stuff comes out, all the limited edition stuff. Jeffree Star's really have. Did you see his new palette? No, what's it called? The Alien palette, and it's in the Ooh. shape of an alien head. Oh wow! So, Has he put a video out? It's a post on his Instagram, um, so far, and he's releasing like eight new lipsticks, and mm. so that's going to be an expensive month. Yeah. 
and Too Faced are releasing their Christmas stuff and I really want the gingerbread palette. It smells like gingerbread. Oh, and that's your favourite, you love gingerbread. Yeah, so I really want that palette. That's been really popular in the US, it's sold out so quick. So wow. I'm going to have to get in early online on Mecca on the day it's released, on the 8th of November, to snare that one up. Because makeup in Australia is ridiculously expensive. Mm. There's not much price difference between uh, your drugstore products and your high-end products, really. Like um, L'Oreal and that. A foundation can be $30, $35. Mm. And the NARS foundation is $49. So which would you prefer? Like... You'd rather spend up to the 49 and yeah, get a better brand. that's right, better quality. Mm. And the higher ends tend to have a better colour range. Mm. Being really fair, the um, drugstore brands don't cater to my skin tone. I have to always lighten my um, foundations and that. And most of them only sort of um, cater to people that are medium, like light brown skin. Mm. Not... Um, not people that have um, pale skin or very dark skin. Neither of them are very catered for. I'm gonna go and grab that pencil I needed. <laughs> God, it. I look really old. <coughs> <coughs> I think we've diffused this lamp in front, but I think we need to completely just like blank it out. Ah. Total Temptation pencil. And this is for what? Just for um, shaping it a bit more, because mm. that pomade's quite soft. I might draw a bit in here. So we might do your <laughs> eyes and I'm going to start with a favourite palette which is the Too Faced Peachy Mats palette. Oh that's nice. Yeah. Smell this. Oh, it's like a purse. Oh my god that smells amazing. Yeah that's, that smells of peaches as yeah. well. Wow. <laughs> Peach tart that's me. Peach cobbler, peach tea, just peachy, peachy punch. Very nice. Too Faced has amazing products. I actually went to one of their events in Geelong a couple of months ago at Mecca. Because I am the person, the second most high spending person in Geelong on Too Faced. Mm. Don't know who number one is, but I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to do... Not too over the top on. You don't want him to look ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So we try and concentrate most of the colour towards the um, back, the tail of your eye, the V here, mm -hmm. and then gently blush it up. I love the smell of their palettes. They've got ones that mm. smell like chocolate too. Oh wow! Yeah, the chocolate bar smells of chocolate, and it looks like a chocolate bar. Any interest in trying the Crayola ones? Yeah, I'd love to actually try that. See how we go. I like trying all makeup. Like, I'm up for trying mm. most um, things. I really want to try those quick flick stamps. Have you seen them that you can do the wing and actually it's like a stamp and you punch like it looks like the actual wing. Like oh, that. wow, that's cool. I really want to try that because I suck at winged eyeliner. And I don't really have the eye shape for winged eyeliner. Mm. Both Dora and I have quite hooded eyes. Mm. So when you look directly, you can't see a lot of like your actual eye. Yeah, lead. yeah. So you kind of have to push everything up higher because. Yeah. Or else it's lost. Yeah. So. Or walk around with your eyes closed. Yeah. <laughs> and it all depends what people like too. I mean, some people like different things, and there's no rules in makeup, even though a lot of people like to think there are. 
Um, I mean, yeah. like when I've seen Jeffree Star or John McLean do it, they've got very big eye sockets. Yeah, that's the thing that a lot of people... Um, and they can put like three yeah. or four or five different tones on it yeah. and you can see every colour. Um, where a lot of um, beauty YouTubers have big eyes, mm. a lot of eye socket space, which makes putting on makeup less challenging. Um, well, what, what advice would you give to sort of like, you know, young girls sort of like starting out with makeup and just go for it everyone has an awkward stupid stage which mm. when i was younger we all did um you know things that might not have looked that great but i think you just got to keep trying it's practice 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 and i guess it's important as well to keep sort of like trying different yeah. things different looks yeah. And if you like something, if someone else, if you like it, you do it. Like, it doesn't matter what other people um, think. Like, in the end, as long as you like it, then um, that's all that really matters. Like, a lot of people don't like that I have blue hair. Like, but I don't dye my hair for other people. No, exactly. Dye for yourself. Yeah. The thing about it is you always have people that don't like. I mean, yeah. it's like on, on my YouTube channel, for example. Um, I'll still get dislikes on videos. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, you waste your time doing that. Why? But at least they they may have viewed it. So at least I got three pens. Yeah. So it's like... Pff. Life's too short. But I, the, I think the main thing, I think one of the main things to important to be important is to completely ignore the negativity. Yeah, it's so something I'm gonna I, have to. I don't, ver I don't get many negative comments at all. Probably have to say in this now. I yeah. will. Um, but if I do, I just delete it. Yeah. You really just got to have a thick skin, and you can't, you can't rise up to it. You can open up now. Oh. And I'm just gonna clean up the bottom a bit. So it's kind of like, if you get it, don't reply. Yeah. Just delete it and block them. Like, Simple as. Tarty, have you watched her, Tarty? Recently got into no. a, a lot of um, controversy. She didn't like um, a Makeup Revolution palette and yeah. she slammed it. Yeah. I don't agree with what she said or how she did it. Um, but then she had a lot of people coming for her saying that oh, she deserved God. to be infertile and things like that. I mean... That's too far, like, in the end, people do this because they want to do it. It's their hobby, it's their passion, mm. you know. If you don't have anything nice to say, go but they, away. But they will they will say it, and yeah. you've literally just, you've got to have a thick skin. Yeah. Because it will drive you insane if you don't. Yeah, you, just, you feel you... sorry for the people that... Um... Exactly, they're just sad, sad, yeah. jealous, Don't you envious. have something better to do with your life? Than... They're just people that just don't have any imagination to do something creative it... themselves. No. So, thick skin Go girl. Under. Your eye a bit. I always clean up my mistakes a little bit with my sponge. It sort of erases it down a, mm. a little. We'll go back under with this. You might put some white eyeliner or some light nudie coloured eyeliner in too. Mm, I like my eyes to pop because my eye colour. Yeah. I do notice that. The problem with black is a lot of people like black. Yes. And that's fine, but it closes your eyes in. Yes. So if you've got small eyes, they make them look smaller. So I try to avoid black. I'm going to put a shiny one on your eye. What shiny colour shall we pick? Hmm, shiny colour. Mm. Mm. Oh, we're on the we're on the Jeffrey Star palette. Which one would you? Um, the shiny colours. The shiny colours. Let's go for uh, that kind of colour. Snatched. So I like to be snatched. A thirsty palette. <laughs> so these apply better with your fingers. So. A lot of makeup artists don't like using their fingers. I think your fingers are great. They yep. blend well as long as they're clean. Well, you can wash your hands. Exactly. So, and we're related anyway. So. Exactly. These have quite a different sort of texture. You can touch that if you want. Oh, yeah. 
but they come up on your finger like really well. Oh wow, look at that. That's a lot of pigment. Yeah. I like that. Just close your eye and we'll just place it on. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Pop it on your other eye. Am I hurting you, am I? No, not at all. And then we might put a little bit of this lighter gold in the middle. Make it pop. Different. We've got some silver. Let's make it pop a bit in the middle. And then we'll blend it out. Have you tried doing this with any of your friends? Yeah, I do. Um, sometimes when they go out and stuff, I do their, mm. their makeup. I'm not very good at other people's makeup, but just keep practicing. I think that's the most important thing, you just keep practicing. <laughs> Blend a bit with the brown again. Yes. Make it a bit more seamless. There we go. And then we'll put a spade of silver in the corner of your eye. Oh yeah. So a hot eye pop. We might put a little brush for that. Does that pick it up? Yeah. These don't even need spraying. Like some of these foil colours you need to spray with um, setting spray to make them really pop. But these definitely don't need it. These pop all by themselves. And you can open up. I'm gonna pull this down your eye a little bit, sorry. Stab you in the eyeball at the same time. A little bit more on. And then we'll clean up underneath. <laughs> clean up any fallout. And do How are we looking at we look it's better from a distance. From a distance, everything. Do you want some white eyeliner in your waterline? Yeah, go on, let's make it 60s. Do you, are you fine with people touching your mm -hmm. eye? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to pull down on this, mm -hmm. and it's just going to go in your eye. Oh, you have to, it's a bit awkward. It's not a nice feeling. It's weird. <laughs> it feels really odd, doesn't it? Your eye wants to fight it the whole time. Well, if I lift, I can't lift my eyelid up, can I? Nope. That's, yep. Yeah, that's better. If I if, if I put my eyes looking straight up, then it doesn't. It's fine. Blend the bottom a bit. And you got wider eyes. Mm, and they're not watering, that's very good. Yes. They are ever so slightly, but not it's teary. Hard. Yeah, a lot of people can't handle that no. at all. Um, a lot of makeup artists do the top waterline with yeah. black. I don't, can't even do that on myself, so. Oh! oh something fell. It'll be right. <laughs> My ratings. <laughs> so we're going to pop some blush on and then we'll do some mascara. Make those eyes pop, girl! So we're going to pop some. Another Too Faced product. This one there. Who makes Too Faced? Um, they're their own brand. Oh, right, okay. So that's a, it's like a cream to powder. It smells nice too. Oh, that is lovely. So pop a little bit on your brush. And then, can we go back here? A lot of people say that you should smile 
and then put your blush on. I don't do that because you don't smile all the time. No, exactly. And if you think you pop it like in the ball of your cheek, you're like that, then it falls down. Yeah. So it looks really odd. You can end up looking like Aunt Sally from Wurzel Gummidge. So I just pop it along the cheekbone, more of like a natural flush. I can't wait for you to put the shimmer on. I love yeah. those Jeffree Star shimmers. And it's, it's getting more fashionable now to wear blush. Like, it's getting to be an in-thin blush. Yeah. So I start to pull it up and sort of drape it towards my eye a little bit. Okay. Makes you look a bit more ethereal and young. Pull it up a bit. And then we're going to do another blush, because I love blush. And this is uh, Hourglass, which is quite an expensive brand, but they make really nice products. Oh, that's a lovely little compact. Um, that's the blush. Oh, wow, it's like Raspberry Ripple. Yeah, doesn't have hmm. a smell or anything, but it is really, um, they have really nice quality products. And it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. So, pop that on our cheeks. And then if you're feeling a bit too blushed, Never just feel clean too it blushed. off. And we just put a clean brush on your cheeks or one with a little bit of translucent powder. And we just blend it a bit. And then we're gonna pop some bronzer on. This is a really fair bronzer, but it's really pretty. Mm. Another Too Faced product, mm. Sweetie Pie. And inside of that. So oh, wow. That's really cool. It's all lattice. Yeah. Like a cake. Yeah. <gasps> that smells nice too. Oh, it does too, yeah. Peach cobbler. You can see why I like Too Faced so mm. much. And this is a really light. Um, so how much is like that 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 um, compact uh, you got there? How much was that? It's about $45, I think. It's not too bad. No. It's a, it's a lot of product. It oh, lasts mate, you your a lifetime, long while. Yeah. And the thing is, you pay for quality, like... Some things you can get cheap, like mm. highlighter tends to be really good drugstore now. Yeah. But I find things like foundation and bronzer for someone who's so fair. Yeah. It's hard to find products that work for me. Mm. Pop a bit on your forehead. Then we just. How cute are these tart brushes too? They are nice. They are. I love mermaids. Yeah. Give everything a bit. Have you seen the film The Shape of Water? No, that's one of the ones I want to see. Oh, uh, it's awesome. Because I like, what was his other film? Did he do Donnie Darko? Is that I think he did, yeah. I love Donnie Darko. Yeah, me too. And the other one, the one about drugs, I think, did he do that one? What was that with Jared Leto and that? Oh, I can't remember. That was a really good film okay. too. But I really like Donnie Darko. I like weird mm. films. So, we're going to do some mascara. It's taking shape now. Yeah. So, where do we put our mascara? That's it, eyeliner. We had mascara. Mm. Get another one. I did have a mascara. Oh, I'll go and get another one. Oh, the inside of my nose was itching a little bit. There we go. <laughs> mascara time. So we're going to just do your gel your eyebrows to keep them in place. So we've got our Anastasia brow gel. I'm just going to gel them. Maybe 
in place. It's better. So we're going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Mm. We don't share brushes. No. We don't double dip. Mm -mm. So we've got our disposable brush. Yeah. And this is a new sample. I love sample mascaras because you're meant to replace them every three or four months. So okay. that's enough. For... Yeah. So now, how do you want me to do this? I'll put this and I'll get you to blink. So I'll okay. see this. Blink. Just, yep. 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 Open. 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 We can clean up underneath. It's all right. Stay still and I'll do these. And you've got quite fair lashes. I you're do. naturally fair, but you've mm. got a lot of eyelashes. So if you get stuff under your eye, leave it. Leave it to dry. Okay. And then we'll get a spoolie and just wipe it oh, off. Oh shoot. That's my fault. No. It happens to us all. Sometimes I'll do it and I'll be like that and I'll go and get it all across <laughs> my nose. <laughs> Mascara can be quite dangerous. Mm -hmm. So, it's hard doing mascara on someone else. It's sort of one of those things you'll notice, like Jeffree Star will do it himself. Like, he'll take it off. Have you seen his videos with Lipstick Nick? Mm, yes. He'll actually take the mascara wand off her and do it himself. I think it's because it's, uh, it's coming somebody to else doing it will make your eyes water, whereas yes. doing it yourself, you know what you're doing. And he'll do his own, like, water eyeliner and stuff, just because, well, he knows what he's doing for that. I mean, it's hard to do it on someone else. I mean, if you did it all the time, I'm sure you'd get really good at it. But um, someone who doesn't do it often. And anyway, if you don't, if it's one of your friends or that, you better just say, "Here you go." If yeah. they know how to do it, and just um, get them to to do it for you. So that one on that side has dried now. So all we do is we get a clean spooling, and we just. And it doesn't hurt, it just feels really odd. And we just clean it up. That stuck to some of your lashes actually, at <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> that saved us some. Um, is that dried? No, it's still a little bit wet. So we'll do your bottom lashes. Some people don't like their bottom lashes done. They don't like the look of it. I quite like the look of it, but um, some people don't like it. It's up to the person. I think it just frames the eye. Yeah. If you're going to do the top, you might as well do the bottom. Yeah. John McLean uses a little fan brush. Mm, yes. That's really handy, Deb. You know, love one of those fan brushes. <laughs> mm. He has really nice brushes. Very expensive brushes. Yeah, brushes with lots of numbers after yeah. them. Yeah. Most of my brushes are like drugstore ones. I've got like some tart ones, but I got them on special. Yeah. <laughs> but um, makeup brushes are an investment. If you're a person who does makeup all the time as a job, I can definitely see. Because he does it professionally on lots of people. Yeah, I can he does. see um, the need for. Lots of brushes, but for a person who just does it every day. Then. I mean, I recently I saw a review of um, Jeffrey Star with this big rollout mm. with the brushes, and he and he, he didn't like half of them, and they were really the, expensive. They're the Kylie ones. They yes. got slammed. They're so she sells them individually, like they're like thirty dollars for one brush. Is this Kylie Minogue? No, Kylie Jenner. Ah. Oh. She has, you know, the Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. has her own makeup line too. I've got one of her products. That we'll Does have Kylie it. Minogue have her own makeup? She has her own perfume. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. So if you get stuff you can't get off, we can always use a bit of concealer to... Hide it back in. Yeah. Paint over it. Yeah. 
And again, I I like using my fingers. Because mm. uh, before all, like, beauty blenders and that, we used our fingers for everything, mm. so. And a lot of makeup artists that are, you know, high-end do. Lipstick Nick uses her fingers to blend and that. Because that's why Jeffrey liked her to begin with. He said mm. he liked her because she, um... Blended with her fingers. Because uh, he used to work at Mac. Yeah, I think I heard that. Before, because he was a singer back... Oh, God. Oof, back in the day. Back in the day, he was a singer. Set this back in the noughties. Yeah. Back when the music was good. Um... And then when that all sort of went down the drain, he was poor mm. and he ended up working at Mac for quite some time. So that factory mm. where all this, does he actually own yes, that? He that is owns in that. his own, it's not rented by an, he a big man. Oh, wow. Um, and he like, um, he does drop shipping, I think, like other brands like pay to have their stuff put in their factories and he ships Yes, it out. I noticed that. He said in the video that he does merch for other people as yeah, well. Yeah, so he's doing well with all of like that as well as his own sort of Yeah, I can of get him brand. to do my Hooverlux t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing well for um, doing all that by look up for himself. He does that and I think Nate's, Nate worked in the factory when they mm. first got together. Um, and they do like a lot of, I think they've got like a marijuana company or something because marijuana is legal, like medicinal. Yeah. I think they have something to do with that too. Mm. He owns quite a few, um, companies as well as his own makeup line. Cause he's very wealthy now. Mm, God, yeah. I've seen that pink Tesla, the pink <laughs> Rolls Royce. He did his makeup in a private jet once. Yeah, I saw. I haven't watched the video, but I did see the thumbnail. Because he was friends too with Nikki Tutorial. Have you seen their videos? No. They're later. They're earlier. It's not. Oh, they kind of are friends again now, I think. But I reckon they look like her. So. Yeah. Or Shani Green, they're the two. Oh, okay. There we go. A bit of a mark there. That off. I think that's a bit of dry skin. I don't, yeah, it's dry skin. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not pulling that off. That looks really good. And now we're going to highlight. But um, first. From a distance. Close your eyes. There we go. Oh, that time. smells so nice and refreshing. Makeup brush. Sorry. Just bring a Kylie highlighter to show you. Yeah, there it is. So this is one of Kylie Jenner's Ooh. highlighters. Oh, I like that. Look at that. That's a nice little size. Yeah. Just smells like makeup. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll put a bit on our brush. Yeah. Wet the brush. A little. And then we're going to get to the top of your cheekbones. And this side. We're going to use a couple of different highlighters. We'll do the bridge of your nose. Mm -hmm. And up here, your cupid's bow, your chin, and a little on your forehead. And then we're going to use another highlighter. Actually got I got quite a good Cupid's bow, haven't I? Yep, you do. Then we got this at Mecca the <laughs> other day. That's our own brand, Mecca Max. Ah. So we're going to have a go with this. We're going to go with that one with the blue sparkles. Ooh, I like it. And then put some of that on top of your cheeks and make you glow. I like a lot of highlighter. I can, especially in photos, it looks nice. Mm, for the Instagram photos. Yeah. So next time you're in the UK, we're going to have to do this on Angeline. Yes. Look out, Ange, we're on our way. Yes, I can't wait to come back, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pop a little bit in the corner of your eyes. Yeah. 
and here and then close your eyes and then pop a little bit on the middle I'm going to try and make that middle pop a little bit mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to look on camera but try there we go do we want to be bronzier or maybe a bit more bronzier or no, I'm leaving it all up to you. I ain't got a clue. It might make you a little bit bronzier. Go on, girls. Give me that Australian sun-kissed look. Yeah. Go back into the Kat Von D, I think. <gasps> Kat Von D. And we're just going to go over just the high points of your face, the points that we want to contour down. Just... We might pop a bit on your cheeks, give you a bit of a flush. Like there's a tradie at the door. <laughs> Flush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How do we like that? Yep, yeah, that is very now good. Lips. What colour shall we do? How about a red? Oh, definitely. Oh, Let's do whore red. red. Yep, I've got perfect colour. She's back with the lipstick and there's lots of it. Now, you pick your colour. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're all Jeffree Star. These are all, oh my gosh, oh, wow. <gasps> Look, oh, I, I've seen it there at the front, that bright red one. You that one? Yeah, whore. Red rum. You know, whore that was Instagram from, rem, red rum. He's got red rum on his chest. On ah. His, and that's from, is it The Shining? Because it's yes, murder, murder backwards. Yeah, he's got red that rum. because um, Jeffrey mm. loves horror movies. Are we going to do that sort of like... Do you want me to do the patted on? The highlight in the centre then. Yeah. I like that. Okay. We can do red and then we can do some of this on the top. Oh yeah. I want to really, really make the lips oh. big. <laughs> big lips. Big so, fucking lips. So we're going to open up. Yep. We're going to do the bottom first. So with these, he has released lip liners, but generally with liquid lips, I don't think you need lip liners because they do set quite well by themselves. And if you take your time with them, you don't really need a liner. Red can be quite dangerous though. Put my hand on your face, mm -hmm. and you can pop your have a rest for a second. We don't double dip, even though we're related, it doesn't matter. For, but for people that you don't know, you definitely um, mm -hmm. don't double dip. So we'll pop this, it wants to be a bit bigger in the lip. So we'll go up and under. And I've gone too far, because he wants big lips. Mm -hmm. Rest that side. <laughs> Here we go on this side. <gasps> oh, you're right. Funny, and you did the waterline, and my eyes didn't water. But you've done the lips. Now you're crying. I know the bloody eyes. Look at that. I let it dry naturally. It should yeah. be all right. You're crying, it's so terrible, you're crying. Okay. There we go. Is there any way you want me to fix on your lip? Anywhere you want to fix? No, I think we're good. Good? <laughs> God, it dries really quick, doesn't it? It does. That's the good thing about um, these. And they set. They're not like normal lipsticks. I mean, if you eat a lot of, like, oily food, they will come off. But they're a lot more... They last a lot longer than just your normal lipsticks. I mean, I don't mind reapplying my lipstick. It's not something I find... You know, mm. I always reapply mine after I eat anyway. Just heat a bit and 
What lipstick does mum use? Because she always like puts a lipstick on and then she'll eat and it's gone. Just like a stick lipstick. Mm. She's taken a couple of my stick ones, but she doesn't like. I don't think she uses liquid ones. I tend, I like mine to sort of stay most of the time. Like yeah. That black gone. Yeah, it's hardly noticeable. Yeah. It's because you watered a little bit. <laughs> Naughty. On the lips, really Naughty. weird. Naughty. You, you did my water line and I didn't water. No. And yet you did my lips and then I could just feel that. I must have really sensitive lips. And now we're going to use a Too Faced Fairy Tears gloss. Tears. Mm-hmm. So this is like a gloss. So this will make your lips look juicy-ish. You can pop your lips together. We do like, we do like juicy lips. Get more. Get more. Do you like juicy. that? Juicy. Yeah, that's good. That is. That's really for like a glittery. Yeah. Big drag queen lips. Yeah. Look. Oh. Just have to tidy it up. Perfect. Done. Pop it this just to. These are such amazing colours. Yeah. Wow. I love Jeffree Star Too Faced. Probably my two most favourite. Kat mm. Von D and Urban Decay are my top four, I reckon. Excellent. Now I look perfect now for doing my Kirby vacuum demonstrations. Mm -hmm. Just need the false nails. <laughs> Setting spray and we're done. Yep. Yeah. We got the shimmer on the sides. We might put some Max Fix Plus, the pink light shimmer that we use just as another, because we want to glow. Yeah. Close your eyes. Unlock it. There we go. And now we put the setting spray over the top. Yeah, I'm just going to come back and dry. Okay, so there we go. We are done. My dewy complexion is complete. Now we have to do the final touches and I'll come back to you when it's all ready. Okay, so now we are ready for the Instagram Halloween special part two. Ta-da! Mm, yeah, definitely a lot better than my effort that you did. It definitely looks a lot better. Yep. Glowy. Glowy. Do you like glowy? Dewy. I do like glowy and dewy. It's really weird. You put this wig on and you got the makeup on and you just start doing yes. all this kind of malarkey. Yes. You really, like a, a complete transformation. <laughs> wow. You have to think of your drag name now. Isn't it something to do with like the first street you lived on and the, the first, first pet's, pet's name? Yeah. The first pet's name was the first um, pet's name was Tina, yeah. and the first street name was Giriel. Tina so Giriel. I'm Tina Giriel. There we are. <laughs> I am now <laughs> Tina Giriel, but I still I still look like Nessa. It must be the hair. It's got to be the hair. I still look like Nessa from Gavin and Stacey. Oh, oh, I'm telling you, what's occurring? All right, now, mosh, behave, I'm telling you now. So anyway, so there we go, that is it. 
That is the Halloween special, part two, done and completed. Thanks to my sister, Crystal, and her amazing, amazing selection of products um, that she has from so many different makeup artists, stars, designers, famous people. For everything is absolutely fantastic. Um, thank you so much for doing no this, for making something. It's been great. If a anyone, bit different. If anyone wants to help me start my YouTube channel, I'm looking for donations of makeup. So yes. if anyone wants to, they can get in contact with Dora, I guess. So yes, I'll put. Um, I can put your Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Can, I'll put yeah. Um, Crystal's Instagram uh, link in the, in the video description of this one and the yes. part one as well and part two. Yeah. So you can get in contact with her and we'd all get together and she'll start her channel. Yes. Um, because there are so many different products. It would be fantastic to see what we thought of them, the colors, the names. I mean, there's just some amazing Chanel. products. And also I've got, we've got Chanel. Uh, Angeline would kill you for this. <laughs> She's got a, a Chanel lipstick. I've got two. <laughs> oh my God, how do you open it? Uh, I think you press it at the bottom. Yeah, it's a fancy one. <gasps> Look at that. Mm. Yeah. And got, see how they got the name Chanel embossed on it? Oh, on the wow. other side, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually got Chanel on the lipstick itself. Wow, that is amazing. Wow, fantastic. There we go. So thank you very much for joining me on this Halloween special. Something completely different, something completely crazy. Just a bit of laugh and a lot of fun to spend time with my sister here in Australia. So please comment, like and subscribe. All the descriptions below will be, you know, all the, all the links and everything will be below in the, in the video description. And thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you very soon and you will see Crystal very soon. So thank you very much and from the both of us we have to say bye, bye.